everybody, it's Beth Boyle, Iowa Trail Rider, and we are in the last, oh, about 20, 25 miles of our 1,200 mile trek from Iowa to Arizona. And it's January of 2022, and super, super excited to be here. It's a long trip. We got into some uh, not so great weather um, in Iowa and Missouri on the way down, but the rest of the trips uh, worked pretty well. We stayed at Stratford, um, Texas overnight and did the rest of the trip today. So 12 hours yesterday on a normal trip. Um, it was uh, probably closer to 14 because we got into some bad weather and then another 10 hours today, but we're almost there. So excited. Um, we're headed to Bumblebee Ranch uh, at Mayer. Um, Arizona first. So here's some stalls. They are connected to a welded pipe gate fence and then are metal panels. This is our horses. There's Casper. There's a big long row of them here. I don't know how many it is. Um, 40 maybe. Maybe more than that. So here's the pens. There's a bunch of them. Some beautiful riding in Black Canyon. We came down from clear up there, off the trail, or off the trail up there, to get onto this one. Wow, it's beautiful here. Something you'd see in a book or a movie. It's Beth Boyle, I have a trail rider with Great Oak Leather, and I'm here at Bumblebee Ranch sitting on the porch uh, at the office and uh, decided to share a little bit about our experience here. This is a really great place to stay. Um, we've spoken uh, with some folks that are dry camping. We've spoken with some folks that are, are camping with electricity, which is what we're doing. And then um, also talked to some people that are staying long term for the winter. A uh, lady here stays five and a half months and she loves it. Uh, she says the amenities are great. Uh, if they travel and go somewhere else and leave their horses, the folks here will take care of their horses that they've just been super comfortable here. Um, the office, of course, has a, a nice gift shop. Um, it has a washer and dryer. It has a public toilet and shower. 
uh, on this end of the ranch and then on the other end of the ranch down by where the, so their saddle and deck room is, um, there's uh, more restrooms um, and showers for, for folks to use. So they do a lot of events here. So it's a large facility uh, set up with a lot of room um, for when like backcountry horsemen bring in a hundred rigs or um, different saddle clubs will bring in a bunch. So um, when uh, like right now in January, isn't there big time for events? So there's, I don't know, maybe a dozen trailers here right now. Um, so in January isn't their particularly busy time. Uh, for us, uh, the, the rate seemed very reasonable um, and they've been very accommodating. There's a lady here that will go out with you on the trail if you want to. They have trail maps. Uh, we've really had a good time. So the riding here um, varies. Uh, there's at least one trail that's pretty much not rocky. Uh, it follows um, a, a little road and an ATV road, goes out in a loop kind of across the entrance. Um, and you know, it's available and it's not rocky. More of it is kind of medium rocky. Arizona's rocky, right? Rocky and sandy. Um, but the saguaros are here and the canyons are here and it, it's really, really beautiful. Similar to Catalina State Park. Um, so yeah, we've, we've really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun here. Um, there are some trails uh, that are more challenging. We rode out um, by what they call the big house here, um, rode south out of camp yesterday and went to the Black Canyon Trail and then a trail that goes up along a fence line that goes up along the edge of a very big valley. And it was beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Um, then we, uh, we rode over to 17. Um, Highway 17 comes from Flagstaff down to Phoenix. We rode over to there and then cut down to Black Canyon and came back in that way. And wow, was it, it was really fabulous. We even got to see a rainbow. Um, we took, got to take pictures of us on our horses with a rainbow in the background. I was so excited. There's one and I'll, I'll put it in this video where um, my horse Casper looks like he's just about to leave the earth and ride up the, the rainbow into heaven. Now, I, I'm getting misty even talking about it because someday when, when hopefully I go to heaven, I, I think that's what my experience is going to be like. I'm going to be riding one of my horses up the rainbow bridge to, to heaven and I'm, I'm tearing up. I'm sorry, but a uh, really powerful moment to be up there. Nobody else around with my sister. The beautiful backdrop of, I believe these are Bradshaw Mountains here. Oh gosh, I'm even going to have a tear. I'm sorry. I'm just... Um, but uh, yeah, the mountains in the background and then the rainbow, it was really something. So this is a special place and we really enjoyed it. Hope you, hope you will too. And um, yeah, uh, like and subscribe. Let me know what you like about the videos. If there's something that you don't like, um, we can, can certainly um, make some changes. Um, but uh, I bet we'll be back here. This has been a good place. Uh, have a good day. Happy trails. And don't forget to like and subscribe.